What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Oh my gosh. Eight days out. Holy cannoli. Ah, I realized I never got to make like a two weeks out video. The week just got ahead of me with work. So I'm a little behind, but I wanted to at least get, you know, the eight day to one week out before obviously show day. Yes. Queen. If you're new to my channel, I'm competing in a bikini division for bodybuilding. This is my first show. I've been talking about it for years, like literally many, many years. And I'm finally like doing what I've always wanted to do, which is get on freaking stage. So I'm excited. Today's not a full day of eating. I mean, I'm pretty much eating the same as I did. Um, you'll see in the like my last video my macros really haven't changed that much i mean they actually haven't changed at all neither has my cardio and i've been dropping weight it's been really good i'm blessed to have to be able to say that it's been an easy prep and and i mean this is only my first but like this has been easy like nothing crazy calorically you know regarding cutting like calories or whatever um so yeah i mean it may not be like this for all my preps in the future, but I'm happy that it is like this for my first one, at least. Am I making even any sense? Anyways, so I thought today I wanted to share with you guys. Well, I want to show you guys my bikini because it came. I'm so excited. Oh my God. I love it so much. Can you guess the color? Hmm. Take a wild guess in the comment section below because then it'll I'll show it at the end of the video and then if you get it right I don't know I'll send you a hug <laughs> um but I'm going to share with you guys like the supplements that I'm taking eight days out that I've been taking like well almost all of the prep since I started I only started at like four weeks out four to six weeks out no four to five weeks out is when I started the prep for this competition so nothing really has changed. Well, only one supplement has like been ad added, I guess, to the stack, if you wanna call it a stack or whatever. But I'll share that with you guys in a bit. Otherwise, I am going to take you through a leg day workout today. So it's editing Katya and I realized I never got that workout footage for you guys. <laughs> so I so apologize. Um, so it's just gonna stick to my supplements, some posing, and showing you my bikini. So still enjoy the video, stay tuned, please subscribe, like the video, and I promise you I work out in the next video. So yeah, I've already had my breakfast, I've been just cleaning, cleaning the hamsters' cages, trying to be a productive human being. I need a vacuum and stuff. So next I see you will be in the kitchen to show you my supplements. All right, you are currently balancing on my base amp right now. But I'm gonna go over the supplements I take. I just brought them with me because my parents come home, they in the kitchen. So anyways, from the get-go, what I've always been taking on the daily, I always take an Omega. This is a really good vegan Omega-2 soft gels. It gives you your omega-6, 7, 9, and 3, as well as have some, you know, chlorophyll in it. It's made up from algae, so this is a vegan source. I even recommend it for non-vegans. If you take a fish oil and you hate those fishy burps that you get from it, you don't get any kind of weird algae burp or any aftertaste from that, this whatsoever. So highly recommend it for vegans and non-vegans it's just important to get those omegas in your system because even if you eat a lot of flax seeds and chia seeds your body doesn't break down all of the omegas it doesn't like absorb 100 percent of it so this just ensures that you're getting your omegas next for stress and just to help my body overall because i know i'm someone who stresses a lot is some ashwagandha this is from just sprouts just full spectrum ashwagandha that's all it is super simple it's a vegetable it's just a veggie cap so of course vegan friendly and i just take one of these daily in the morning vitamin d so important and i know that last time i got blood tested 
it was years ago, it was probably closer to when I was in college and when I was a hermit that I was low in vitamin D. So I just su supplement it as well just to also help with mood because I know that lack of vitamin D can really affect your mood. So if you're someone who, I don't know, you find yourself kind of down, but you're not like depressed, you know, you don't have like clinical depression, I recommend trying suppl supplementing with vitamin D. I got this also just at Sprouts, but I think this Veg Life, you can find it on like Amazon. Next, if I'm not taking the collagen protein powder, I am taking their new collagen pill. I like that they came out with a pill form of their collagen restore and protect supplement because it just makes it easy to take if I'm not taking the protein powder on a daily basis. And I've heard mixed reviews. Some people said, oh, I didn't really care for the flavor too much. This stuff. And let me tell you. Like, yo. My hair has never been healthier like so healthy i am like it's it's honestly amazing like i get all these like little baby hairs because that's all regrowth like it's amazing what ha that has done for me so honestly i highly recommend it for just overall well-being and you're not consuming collagen so it's not cons coming from ground up animal bones so just also for your conscious and well-being feel free to use my coupon code love this stuff so one capsule of that. I also take iron just to make sure I'm getting enough iron in my diet. It can be difficult for some vegans to get iron. I don't because I also track how much iron I get without this, but I will supplement this every other day. And this one also has the plus vitamin C, folic acid, and B12. So it's a good blend. And also found this at Sprouts. With one to two meals in a day, if they're kind of heavy, I will have a digestive enzyme just to make sure everything is on point. This has so many things in it. It's phenomenal. And I, I mean, I couldn't recommend it anymore, if anything, because it just has helped me so much with my digestion because I'm someone who also with stress, it'll affect me physically. So and when it affects me physically, my digestion is a little off it's not as on point as i'd like it to be pretty much and then something that i've implemented now that i totally recommend for people even if you're like not on prep so it's something that i'm going to implement moving forward as well is a multivitamin now some people say you don't need a multivitamin if you're getting enough food in your diet if you're in a surplus and you are eating a really good diet of like various vegetables and fruits and getting all your nutrients that way, you may not necessarily need a multivitamin. But if you haven't been blood tested and you go get blood tested and you're low in something and maybe you don't like that one food, it could be useful for you to use a multivitamin. So I've been using the complete vegan multivitamin from Live Body. Oh my gosh, this stuff, this has everything. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's not just a multivitamin. You get even more, you get inositol, which is great for women and men. It's got a bioflavonoid blend, a digestive enzyme blend, probiotic blend, fatty acid blend, and a greens and whole foods blend. As well, you get herbal blend, fruit blend, vegetable blend, mushroom blend, everything, everything that you need. Like I could honestly replace a lot of what I'm showing you now with just this because it does provide me with vitamin D, vitamin E, biotin, everything, but I just stack it on top of it. And it does require you to take like three pills, but they're really small. They're not like horse pills. They're like that big. They're really not that bad. And you're probably thinking, girl, you swallowing all these pills? I guess I'm good at swallowing things. So anyways, that's the supplements I'm taking. I am going to get ready, get dressed, and we are gonna go hit legs.
friends. Are you ready to see the bikini? Okay, okay. Oh, I'm so excited to show you guys. It's, oh my gosh, I was so, oh so excited, obviously, but yes, of course, yo girl went with black. I went with sequins. Hopefully you can see that well, because if you get it bedazzled up, it's like pretty darn expensive. So I tried to be as like cost effective as possible, but yo, bikinis aren't cheap and I still wanted there to be some glitz to it, so that's why I got the sequins instead of just like the plain, like they have, they almost look like holographic, but yeah, and the pieces, I got it from Angel Competition Bikinis, so and got it with some extra padding because your girl's kind of flat and oh my god, but it's so pretty, and this is I believe the Brazilian cut. Because I guess nowadays, like, the modest cut is covers too much. But then I don't want the pro cut because then I think that shows too much. Or, yes, shows too much. So this one seems to be the right medium. But it is just so pretty. I am just, oh, I'm so happy. And I'm so excited, you guys. You, like, I, this has just been in the making for so long. I mean... I knew this would be quite a hefty cost, and of course, post-show, if you guys are interested in knowing like the cost that goes into all this, I'm, I'm happy to share that with you guys, because we got to be realistic here. It's not a cheap sport to get into. Of course, now that I have this one bikini, I can reuse her for quite some time next future shows. Oh, she's so pretty. And I love that these parts right here are like adjustable, so I'll definitely be able to wear future shows. Whereas the bottoms, I'll have to figure out if they are just as adjustable, but we'll figure that out when we get there. Otherwise, yes, this is the bikini. We are eight days out. By the time you see this, I don't know how far out I'll be, but I'm hoping to vlog the time of, or like the show day at least. We'll see how many days like up to it I can get, but oh my god, I'm so excited. All right, guys, I love you all. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up, support your girl, and subscribe to the channel if you want to finish this journey with me to my first NPC bikini show. I forgot to mention, I'm doing True Novice as well as the Open Class. They are offering True Novice, Novice, and open so I'll just be competing in like the true novice which is like first time at all competitors and then the open which is like both novice as well as other people so I don't know what to anticipate I don't know the class size how many people are gonna go so I don't know how many people I'm going up against which is nerve-wracking but I'm so excited so yes subscribe like oh my gosh I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video Bye.